I want to talk about um, back to basics right now. I'm going to do the back to basics putting segment. So people listening to this know that back to basics, major sponsor of the podcast. Use TM15 for 15% off your back to basics putting mirror. Used by Ken Smith, designed by Richard Woodhouse and Grant Field. Support those who support the podcast. It's a fantastic mirror. I love people. Who, a, lot of, a lot of you guys are supporting it. I get the little uh, emails that come through and I appreciate it. And I know Brady uses one himself and it's a fantastic mirror. I think it's the the number one putting training aid that every golfer should have. But as we dive into the back to basics putting tip here, right, that you're going to give us, Brady, I want you to talk to me about something that you've invented that I've seen. Um, can you incorporate that into your tip? What is it that you've made? Yeah, so what I've made, I've, I've just made it on something that I've used in the past. I like to use a line on my ball. Yep. Uh, I'm a very linear kind of person when it comes to putting. I like to see the line where I'm going and, you know, work towards that. Um, what I've made here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, show me. It's basically, called it true roll. It's basically here. It's a, it's a bit of pipe. Right? Yes. And what you do is you put your ball in. Yep. And you're able to draw a line on your ball to your desire. Okay. Basically, how much, how far you want it around. I like to draw half and half, so basically half the ball. Yeah. But when I train, I like to draw a line around the whole ball. Yeah. Because then when you do put the ball down, you're able to see the roll. Yeah. And it's a really good piece of feedback I've used over the time. Um, mm to just see how your roll's going, if you're getting any kind of hook spin, you know, if it's bouncing too much, yeah, just stuff like that. And it's quite satisfying to use as well. Can people – so that true roll that you're talking about there, I, I like it. So for people who are actually listening to it, it's like a um, it's like a piece of pipe thing you can just pop in your bag. I'm going to yeah. say the size of your fist potentially, right? Maybe – how long? You probably know how long it is. 10 centimetres, 8 centimetres? Yeah, about that. I think yeah. about 10. And you can kind of draw a line around it. Tell me, um, yeah. can people buy this? Yeah, people can buy it. I haven't got up and running like a website or anything just yet. But yeah. if you, if anyone's actually keen, they can give us a message on Instagram. Yeah. Well, I'll put the uh, link. Under my name. I'll put the link below yeah. to access um, Brady's True Roll there. So I'll put the link below to your Instagram page so people can contact you. And yeah, um, yeah that's fantastic. It's a really great idea. I love using a line. How come yeah. how come you don't draw the line the whole way around? Is it just because just a visual thing when you're playing? I find that it's more chance of it smudging, so then you've got to get rid of the ball. Oh, okay. Just stuff like that. I mean, if that doesn't bother you, go for it. But when I train mostly, I will sit there. I, f I actually find it quite satisfying. I'll get my box of balls before a tournament, and I'll mark all the two boxes. I'll sit there with this and draw the lines. Yeah. I don't know. It's quite meditating for me, and I'll draw my little dots. How yeah. I, um, mark my ball so yeah this one's a uh, got a limited edition green to start i just painted a few of them like this and the rest of black i love it i tell so, you, yeah, I, you i tell you one thing you talk about marking a ball for a tournament brady i um i used to always kind of well i, I did it religiously when i played right but my mm -hmm. first ever tournament as a trainer golf freshman i started my training shit mm -hmm. i think i parred the first hole went to the second hole smoked my drive in the middle of the fairway and just assume that I was the shortest ball because I was playing with two big guys. First went up, hit the first one, um, hit it to like two feet. Oh, fuck, I'm going to make birdie as a trainee. How good is this? Nerves that can calm down. Get down there and someone goes, hey, this is not my ball. And oh, I realized that I actually okay. was, I was the furthest ball. I actually hit the furthest drive, right? Strong, right? <laughs> and then, yeah. Anyway, so I run up, get the guy's ball out of the bunker for him, take it back. And sorry, sorry, next hit it to two feet, right? Go run off the green, get it, take it back to him, go hit my ball, plug it in the face, make triple. Anyway, mm. so every night before Ouch. I went in, but it was a great lesson. It was a great lesson. Oh, 100%. You got to do it once. Everyone, Everyone does it once. Yeah, I marked my ball religiously every night the night before. So, yeah, so, um, but I was a big line drawer as well. I used a line when I putted. I just felt like it was, um, uh, yeah, I just, like what you said, that kind of linear line. I liked being a little bit matter of fact of where this is going to go. Yeah, so, yeah, 100%. So, in the back to basics putting tip, right, do you have anything for us that you do on a daily basis in your putting, you know, when you're training at all? It's funny you say that. Basically, all I'll use religiously is the mirror. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, basically, what I'll do, Nick's been great to me. I've got a few of them here. Um, I will religiously, even if I'm just going for a little 
stuff around with the boys. I'll use it before I play. Yeah. It's just it's just a habit I've ingrained. Yep. And I'll, I'll slap it down, find a five-foot uphill part or sh- relatively straight part, and I'll sit there and make sure everything's in line. Yeah. 100%. That's one thing I'll do. And then if I'm practicing, I'll set myself usually two drills. Yep. And I'll make them relatively hard so they're challenging but not impossible. Yep. So I know that I can complete them. If I'm putting well, I'll be able to complete them within a timely fashion. Yep. And however long or short that takes, I'm out of there. Okay. So yep. it's more it's more a resilience kind of thing. Yeah. I think I um I actually learned a couple of I was fortunate enough to be able to practice with Cam Smith when I was over in the states. Yeah. And I was watching him closely and he gave me a few drills that he does when he practices. Yeah. And naturally I implemented them into my own work as well. So um yeah, that's basically what I do. I'll I'll set up the mirror 100% just get everything in line. I won't spend too long, maybe between 3 and 5 minutes on it, hit 20 or so parts. And off I go, set off my drills. I'll do that for however long it takes, 10, 20, 30 minutes, and then I'm off. It's, it's interesting, right? Because it sounds like with the task you talk about that you don't make them too hard. Do you think that's on yeah. purpose to make sure that you're kind of getting a little bit of, I do not use the word confidence, but you're kind of going in there and just checking like, yes, I'm good at my mirror. Yes, I'm putting pretty steady. I'm doing these exercises. I'm good to go. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a satisfaction of telling yourself that you're in the right place. Yeah, there's that element, and I think as well, I think it's overlooked. I think people just get bored, right? Mm. If you yeah. sit there and you can't complete a drill, what do you com- – you're not. I mean, as long as, as long as you're putting well and relatively fine, mm. if you sit there and just grind away at a drill, it's just wasted energy in my opinion. Yeah. I think yeah. if you can set up a drill that you know you can complete, yeah. as long as it's challenging enough where it does get on your nerves, where yeah. you sit there and if it – you do miss one of those parts where you're near the end yeah. and you have to restart or whatever. It makes you go, oh, I could get you angry, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the line where you want to be. Yeah. I think that's the ultimate kind of green zone of um, improving. I like that. Now, with the with the mirror, do you put any tees in it at all, like to help you with some avoidance aids in regards to not kind of going offline or do you just kind of have it flat down the ground? If I do any, it's just a um, – I'll just put them at the impact zone. Okay. Just for kind of, yeah, I don't really know. And then as well, I'll put usually some gates. Nick yep. was actually good. He gave me a, um, a string line as well. They've got a new string line out there on their website. Yeah. And I'll use that for kind of like some breaking putts as well, just for line stuff. And that's great to use with the true roll as well because you put the line down on the mirror as well. Yeah. And then you line it up with the string line on top and it's yeah. just this concoction of just satisfaction for your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. there's lots to learn, lots to see, lots of um, lots of believable lines as well, Brady. Like you're kind of looking yeah. around and you're seeing this line, you're seeing this start line, you're seeing the gate, and your 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 eyes and your brain are all communicating and training each other on what sh- what it should look like for that ball to go in the yeah. hole, instead of just kind of putting into like an open field. <laughs> it's it's yeah. like it's like crazy. Oh, I like that. I like that, and I like that you've you've incorporated the um your kind of training aid there with the back to back putting mirror. I love the line uh, on a ball. I'm I'm a big component of it. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's for me it's it's really important in my putting, but it's not for you know for everyone, but for me. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's, that's another thing, right? It's, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. I'm not out here to push something that's not going to help you. Ultimately, I'm doing it just to give back. And just find try and improve other people's goals. But let's just say it's an anomaly when you see a pro not doing it. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people I've noticed I'd say more than half would use it. Yeah. And then on that half as well, a lot of people will use it as well. Uh horizontally. Yes. So something to I don't know, maybe like a yeah. impact zone, right? Yeah. Some like sort that. of visual impact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um so you can use it both ways, I guess, for lining up and impact that's like, like a preference putting yeah, is so personal i love it i love that i love the square face one too it's like a cross so it's like a cross or you can have yes. like a t on it love it oh that brings us to the end of the back to basics putting segment brady thanks for that mate thanks for the putting tip support those who support the podcast tm15 get your 15 percent off discount code and link is below